Hello and welcome to Homestead for round number 19 here of the season. Now, here's the thing what's uh, what's going on. We're, we were supposed to go to JGR, but turns out JGR, something happened with it. It just wasn't, it wasn't, you know, good. It, the big wreck happened and like a bunch of cars got involved and it really just ruined the race. So... We are going to give Homestead Miami a shot, and we will see what will happen. I'm totally not sure what to expect. All I know is is that, you know, when we did this for the NCAA Team Mobile Cup Series race, it turned out pretty fine. So, uh, you know, we'll see, though. On the polls, Chris Louvier. Second is Seth Cole. Third is Charles Jackson. Fourth is Steve Pollard. 15th for Joshua Pollard, 16th Mason Power, or 6th is Mason Powers. I say 15th, not oh, Jesus. 7th is Jordan Culp, 8th is Joseph Vanesto, uh, 9th is Keith Batts, and right top 10 is Steve Pollard III. There's the rest of your starting line for today's race here at Homestead. And this is the first time, by the way, I have used Homestead in the inner cell since Season 1 Outback, so it's been three seasons. Well, two seasons I haven't used it, but this is like, well, you get the gist. Uh, on the final row, we have Ramey Fisher and Stephanie Naylor. Now, when I did this race with the original Cup cars, the trouble spot mainly was turn 1 and 2. Even though turn 3 and 4, they can have incidents. 1 and 2, you know, yeah. So, we're about ready to get the command soon. Our previous race winner, as you've noticed in the lineup, Cody Lamas, he is starting toward midfield in the back, and it is his hometown track. So, very interesting, as they uh, gave the command to fire him up. Louvier, Seth Cole, drivers who would love to get wins this season, they, they really would need it. And all 42 cars are going. This track has some spectacular angles, so I'm looking forward to it to see what to expect here. So, we're going to be here for 27 laps here at this mile and a half. So... Here we go, off turn four as the pace car's down into pit road. And green flag is out. is going to get a nice run on the inside line. That is going to be the, be the preferred line throughout this race. Undoubtedly. So... Charles Jackson's now going to peek to the inside for the lead. The outside line can get the runs, too, a little bit. Um, you can see right there, the inside line is not the most powerful line, but it does get its advantage, though. And leading at the stripe was... I gave it to Charles Jackson. The Black Seal, Chevrolet needing a good run. Jackson not doing very well at the points, so... I don't know what to expect, but this should be interesting. Now, three wide for the lead. And, oh, behind, four wide. That's Steve Pollard, Mason Powers, Joe Finesta, All-Star Race winner, and Austin Talley. And they can go four wide. They just can't go five. Now, I've seen in one series where they made it six wide for one moment, and they made it work. And then once they went to four wide, they wrecked it up, which was weird, but logic. Josh McCollard, though, trying to get that lead from Charles Jackson. He's been hanging on to that lead right there. But Collard, who led that lap barely over Jackson, I think undoubtedly he's going to lead his second lap of the race today here at Homestead. So we've been traveling back and forth. We are back in the U.S., back in Florida. Ironically enough, we were in Florida first, then we went to Dubai, then we were back in Florida again, but this time farther south. Seth Cole in the 62, outside pole center. Trying to go three wide for position number one. And Louvier, the pole sitter, having a very good run right now. Our points leader, Momo Akari, as you can see. She is starting very well in qualifying, and, well, she's showing why. 
Good run by the E-Target Chevrolet right now. Uh, Collard and Louvier, by the way, and Jackson have not won races this season. Collard has. Benjamin Miles has. And Jordan Culp has not. Also, Steve Pollard in the 79 has not. Neither is Austin Talley. It's by his shitty season. Clay Rogers did win a, did win a race. And Momo Kari, who's in the top 10, has won two. Onesto, despite winning the All-Star race, did not win a race this season. So... It's a good chance, though, we will see a person who hasn't won a race yet this season have a good chance of winning it, but they got to deal with Joshua Collard, though. So far, it's a two-car breakaway for the lead right there. Collard and uh, Jackson. Mayonnaise man. Mayonnaise man himself trying to go underneath to the inside for the lead. A pair of Chevys, though. Best running forwards to 28 right now. And Momo Akar yet again. It's going to be an interesting day to see if Akar can get a really good run. Uh... He is nearly clear of, you know, clinching a spot in the chase because he's like a few points back from a certain someone that's there. But I think it's safe to say for this running right now, if he, if he keeps up, if Momo keeps up where it's at, where, where, where they're at right now, it's just, they're good to go. So, yeah, but Charles Jackson's going to get the lead. Here comes Seth Cole in the 62, the PS3 Hershey's Toyota Camry. Trying to get that lead, can't get it in. Jackson's going to lead that lap as well. This is his third lap led, I believe it was, in this race. Color with two, and then a few others with one lap led. Now Seth Cole is going to go for the lead, the outside pole center. Oh, and I see four wide. Mason Powers again in a four wide situation. He gets out of it. Oh, and now goes three wide. But Onesto again in another four wide situation. But Becker throttles it right there, and he gets out of that situation. Good call by the 20, despite still being in the middle. And Lamas, hometown hero, in trouble. No, not like the Taylor Swift song. In trouble like as in stuck in the back, trying to work his way up to the front. Henry Sanford's all the way in the last place there. That's not good for Henry right there. Looking through, though, just so you know, everybody's doing, everybody's racing clean, which is a good thing. And another four-wide scenario, as now they're going to sell it to two-by-two. Two. But it is all Seth Cole and Charles Jackson up in the front. Jordan Culp, though, in the 31 in third place, doing very well. Trying to get a good run to make sure he gets himself in the top 10. And look at a car again put up into the middle. The middle line's actually the preferred line to be in because, you know, you can get a good run on the outside and the inside. And a car, I think, figured that out easily. But mainly of the two, the outside or the inside, you may want to use the inside line. But. The middle line is the preferred line here on this track. And now Collard, he is just getting passed by a lot of cars right now in this in this area. Lap 11, though, is in the books. And we're heading into lap 12 of 27. Excuse me there. Top two are Chevys right now. So Chevys doing not, not too bad right now. And then Toyota and Ford. Right there, and then Do uh, Dodge, as you've noticed, falling back a little bit. Actually, quite a ways, I should say. And Onesto is actually nearly dead last now. He's actually 40th right now. Now in 41st, and now it's going to be last place right now. But now Cody's working his way up to the front of the field using that inside line. So my phone is going off in the background. I apologize for that. Let me go quickly look who that is uh, right now. Give me just a second. As it is just a service call, so I'm just going to ignore that very, very well. So, I don't need to be bothered right now because of that stupid stuff. But Jackson's been... Doing very, very well this race, and I believe they're going forward again. And I thought so, but I must be seeing things. But so far, though, we are still clean and green. As we're going to hit to lap 15 and 27, we'll get you back with nearly 10 laps to go. So we're going to take a quick commercial break as Jordan Culp just got the lead. Don't go away, stay tuned. Welcome back. You haven't missed much here for this race as, uh, you know, Jordan Culp has got the lead away and he's starting to pull away. There's the unsponsored number 31 Chevy Camaro. Chris Levere, the pole sitter, though, 
having also a good run as well, trying to make sure he wins from the pole on this track. And Momokari has not been being silenced at all, so this is very interesting. I'm sorry about that. I had to send a message to someone. But now Akari, he's going to get put to the high line. And this is where I think Akari is going to get start the freight train there. From the outside line to the back of the field. Seth Cole using that middle line trying to get the move. But Akari though. Man, that 42 has just been strong. I don't know what has been up with Akari lately. But just that 42 just does not seem to give up at all. It's been one of like the strongest cars all season long. But... Now Clay Rogers trying to go underneath Jordan Culp for the position. This is the only series that Culp is in for right now. There's a possibility that he will be in the Cup Series next season, but not sure of um, what it will be. So, I you know, we'll see what will happen. And check through the back. Onesto's not really having good runs. Ash Kurz, Caleb Paris, Justin Talpass, the champion. If he can, you know, get a win... You know, in the or if he gets a top two in the LCQ, one of the two, then you know he may have a chance to make the chase. But as far as like top ten or wild card, it don't look like it. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, you know, uh, that's a tough break right there for Town Pass. That's not what's been needed for him as of late. But right now. Culp, though, and and the 28 of, of a... I, why do I keep thinking Greg Jones? I'm you know, Clay Rogers. I'm doing so fucking well right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Clay Rogers now. He's going to go to the inside for the lead, so... He's going to try to get the lead right there, and he's going to get it. Now Chris Levere trying to be the guy that follows, and actually the Pulsar and outside Pulsar are working together, and Akari yet again not being silenced. Man, that 42 car something has just been fired up with him. Oh my. And they're going to go three wide for the lead. Levere trying to peek it underneath. And not going to get it there, but Rogers is going to get the middle run. Levere got a little bit slow off that corner. Which held up Akari and Plord. Plord having a good run right there in the West Coast Chevrolet right there. Good, good job for him. As uh, five laps to go is here for this race at Homestead. And I'm wondering, what will we see from Plord and Akari? And Akari especially, he really, he has really been making a lot of statements really has so you know I, I i don't know do you i think the 28 could possibly get the win but a 42 car oh they're going four wide steve pollard made the four wide scenario and they are going to keep it together because four wide really is not an issue it's five wide and oh boy now they're going to go to three wide and that akari had to bail there we had to keep an eye on our points leader there that would have been a very bad situation right there. Rogers though, still with that lead. Louvier still trying to get second place from the outside pole set of Seth Cole, but this is allowing Clay Rogers to pull away. Check it through one more time. Washes in the back. Oh, four wide, not nearly slid in Zachary Chambers. That was a close call right there. Man, these guys are just going crazy. Nearly five wide at the back of the field. Two laps to go. But you could see, though, it's been very bizarre. Well, not bizarre, but it's been very interesting. Very clean and green. And the 22 Lamas. Hometown hero, midfield. He's not going to get a good run, but... Oh, well, what can you do, though? The Clay Rogers pulling away. And Akari looks like he's going to get a top five finish. Here we go. White flag is out for Rodgers. Can Rodgers get the victory over Seth Cole and Preston Plord? Plord's trying to get second from South. This is allowing the 28 to get a better chance for the win. 
And Akari looks like he's going to get fourth, maybe he may get third, I don't know. Well, looks like he's going to settle for fourth place, but coming off the final turn, the Texaco Haveline Ford Mustang. For Yates is going to come over and he's going to be victorious here at Homestead. Congratulations to Clay Rogers on the victory. And it's going to be very interesting next week at uh, Thornton for who will probably make it and who won't. So, very, very well done by these drivers. Good racing and no cautions. We were caution-free throughout this race. And, well, this turned out to be a very exciting race, to say the least. Not bad, though. So, there, the winners stand out on track, which very surprising there. And uh, now uh, we're going to show you the rest of the results here. And here they are. Rogers, Plord, Cole, Akari, Pollard, Louvier, Jackson, Collard, Austin, Tallamy, Powers, Top 10, Matthews, Qualls, Pollard, 3rd, Brody, Tally, Benjamin, Miles, Mongol, Galligan, Navarro, Culp, Naylor, Top 20. And then 21st on down is... McIntyre, Shelton, Batson, Fisher, Weiner, Scher uh, Skirvin, Jones, James, Cavagnaro, Lamas, Henry Samper, Hudson, Telepass, DJ Curtis, Ash Curtis, Naughton, Chambers, Becker, Paris, Washer, Onesto, and Matt Dalio all out. Well, not out, but they're all finished the race. So once again, congratulations to Clay Rogers on the victory. And I believe that was the second win of the season, so that's uh, very... Solid job for Rogers there. He may have just clinched himself a chase spot right there. I could be wrong though. If um, if I am wrong though, I'll I'll correct it in the um, you know, with uh, the Thorn race or the Cup race at uh, Homestead. Till then, goodbye everybody.